But first, a College Station elementary school teacher arrested after accusations that he inappropriately touched two of his students. Good evening, I'm Matthew LeBlanc. Amanda Kenny will join you tonight at 10. 34-year-old Asael Paniewa was arrested yesterday for two counts of indecency with a child by sexual contact. KAG's HD News reporter Chris Costa has more on our top story. Chris, these incidents reportedly took place years ago. Matthew, just a month ago, a parent brought their daughter into the Bryan Police Department to make a report against the daughter's former second grade teacher. They said that he touched her inappropriately on multiple occasions back in 2010 when the student was in the teacher's class at Milam Elementary School in Bryan. The investigation by police led to the identity of another student who reported that during the 2007 to 2008 school year, she was touched inappropriately while also at Milam. Paniewa did not work at any other school in the Bryan district. Bryan ISD released this statement. In cooperation with law enforcement, the district is reviewing documents and interviewing personnel as the investigation continues. Behavior that harms children will not be tolerated. The district is conducting a thorough review with the safety and protect protection of children at the forefront. Now, most recently, he was working at College Hills Elementary School in College Station as a dual language teacher. When CSISD received the information about a possible arrest warrant on Tuesday, he was placed on administrative leave pending an investigation. CSISD also released a statement saying that they will cooperate fully with Brian PD during the investigation. Accusations of this nature are disturbing and have proven to be true, unacceptable. The safety and well-being of students is the top priority of CSISD, and the misconduct of this nature will not be tolerated by any CSISD employee. Bryan police are still investigating. Um, it is very important that uh, parents talk to their children and um, determine whether anything has occurred with them and to come forward to the Bryan Police Department. Um, typically in these cases, um, you, you know, as in this case, we've had more than one victim and we want to make sure that there are no others. Bryan police will continue to interview students as part of their ongoing investigation. Right now, Paniewa is currently in the Brazos County Jail on $20,000 bond. Now tonight at 10, hear from the mother of a student in that teacher's class and how she feels about these allegations. Matthew?